Hey, love bucks, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for having the patience to deal with my crazy behind. Because I know there's like... I know y'all be looking at me like, oh my gosh, she's so animated. But, you know, hey, I try to bring fun to my channel. You know, I don't want everything to be so serious. But, you know, if you're being a hell, but not everything is serious. So, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching the videos for a while and have not already, please, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. So you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And I know I messed that up. But y'all know if y'all been with me for a while, you already know the deal. So if you feel comfortable enough, please drop me a line. Uh, even if it's about the positive feedback. You know, me getting to know you as much as you're getting to know me. You know, um, even if it's about, you know, your, your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards positive direction. You know, I switched up a little bit. <laughs> and if you feel like the video is very informative to you or even gave you good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath going through some trying times, or even um, need their, you know, confirmation or validation towards their, you know, soul path, or even like purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for the love and support, and I love y'all from the bottom of my heart, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And, um, I got me another, um, y'all, I love the heck out of me, some, uh, Buddha, Buddha music. It's called, uh, 963 hertz, 963 hertz tranquility music for self-healing. Release stress, find harmony, and light music for the, for the soul. And I'll post that link in the description box below. Anytime I see Buddha, I'm like, yes, I need to hear it. You know, it's always so calming, especially when you're able to see Buddha on the screen. But yes, my video today is Twin Flame 101. Hey, Othas, when you can figure out your role, you can easily win the game. You can. It's just like, you know, when you see there is always a part, like I said in the uh, first video, you know, um, we're all playing a part. You know, everything is basically an illusion. If you can see past the smoke screens, you can see that, you know, all of us are playing a part that we have to do. You know, it was like before we even came here, like I said before, and you probably already know, you know, we pick the exact family we're in, the people that we have to grow up with, the people that we get, you know, love from, people that we get the rejection from, people that we get the hate from, the abuse from. It's like we all play that part, you know, towards that cycle that's going to allow us to be able to see things for what they truly are, seeing how the world works. You know, there's so many things that's coming out. And as soon as I said that, uh, I get a confirmation. Um, let me go ahead and make sure I turn my, you know, my sound off my bad, y'all. But it's like all these different things are coming through in our life, you know, um, and it's a beautiful blessing. It, it was just like from the moon of Taurus is really, you know, really set me in motion today because it was just like so many different things was going on and I was really hyper and I'm just like, where is this all coming from? You know, just all dancing around being really goofy and I was like more goofy than I usually be in my goofy self. And it's like all these different, you know. It's like usually when I'm getting ready to do videos, I always like I speak to myself, you know, or I sit inside my head, you know, universe, whatever you need me to speak on today. Allow me to be able to do that for you. What what do you need me to speak on today to bring to my my, you know, my soul family's attention? What do we need to pay attention to? And it has to be, you know, uh, you, you have that big shift that you know there is things that are about to end up for you. You're winding down that emotional situation that you're in you know is and because you know it's about to end you probably getting this feeling is about to end because so many things has hit you like really hard like you know it's like damn can i get a break can you get a break no you gotta learn your role you gotta play you know you gotta learn all your lines to this movie and it's gonna be at that point where you're gonna be at that emmy or whatever those things are the best you know you know movie awards and you gonna you know somebody gonna you gonna be in one of those nominations <laughs> you gonna be in one of those nominations and they get the best supporting actor is pow, da -ding. you'll be like oh my god i didn't even 
you know, write up a speech. I don't even have a speech prepared, but I would love to, you know, thank all my lovely fans and all the little people that got me here. And you're going to be an Oscar goes to, you know, you're going to be that, you know, you're going to be that best supporting actress. You're going to be that best supporting actor that wins this big award because you're going to finally figure out what role did you have to play in this part to be able to get through the next chapter. That's what you're about to do. So it's just like all these different things are coming along in your life. It's like so many crazy shifts is happening to you. You know, there's so many layers of uh, you that's coming unveiled. There's more, uh, you know, veils coming off to the point where if you got a veil across your face and they snatch it off, you better make sure you, you still got some edges. Because they don't probably snatch it off like, boop, you know, and took an edge or two. You're like, I know, okay. You know, all these different things are occurring into your life to where they sound crazy. But everything is possible. You never pose a doubt anything that's coming into play with your life. Anything that has landed towards you, you probably, all of a sudden, you could be in your car. And next thing you know, you have a, you know, an animal jump in front of your car. It could be either a cat or a snake or, you know, a squirrel come flying across the road. All of these different things is coming towards you. It's sending you messages to let you know something about your life, either a omen or a warning or something you need to pay attention to that is about to occur or has occurred or is in the near future about to occur. So all these different things are changing in your life. You're shifting left and right. Your body temperatures is getting crazy. You, you know, mine is just like sometimes you'll see my videos and next thing you know it'll get real light in here and they get real dark or you'll see you know uh <clears throat> you know lights flashing every time I move my hands it, it just uh, it just depends or even my my sound gets crazy so you know if y'all be watching my videos and the sound goes crazy you, you have to forgive me on that situation because it's like you know I know I got everything up and there's I can hear fine over here but other people will be like Rosalind you know the thing sounds choppy I apologize for that but whatever it you know energy that's coming off my body sometimes it messes with the sound sometimes you'll see lights flashing across or you'll see my aura change it, it's just really crazy with me so all these different things occur in your life you're becoming more confident with the things that has been placed upon you you know you're, you're going through things where it's like like I said everything's coming at you all at one time because you're winding up some stuff and the devil and dark forces and whoever else is supposed to be that player hater in your daggone in your in that movie you playing in is gonna come at you left and right left and right left and right because they do not want you to win even though they already know you're gonna win you are God already knows universe already knows you had to be able to play this role and figure out what is my part that I'm playing in what what are my lines <laughs> what are my lines what character do I have to go into you have to you know play that role very well you know you need to get that Emmy you know a lot of us you know we worked hard for that damn Emmy you know <laughs> so you, you you when you know you finally get that award your award is when you finally get to that new chapter you've been praying for because it's starting to look surreal to you like is this really about to happen for me heck yes you earned that you worked it <laughs> so you got it so it's just like all these different things are coming off in your life. And it's just such a blessing to me when I can be able to figure these things out and be able to give you that confirmation because you you know that there's something on the tip of your tongue and you don't know what it is. You can get up in the morning and be like, the heck is going on here? You know, you already know something off. I woke up this morning and everything was all off. You know, I had locked my keys in my door, sat up here and tripped, them, tripped over my daggone weight that was in my room. All these different things is going on. Shoot, I'm surprised my wig ain't on backwards. You know, stuff like that going off on today. And I'm just like, okay, you know, what is today? And I just so happen to look at my phone. Someone's telling me, look and see what moon's going to pop off. The moon of Taurus. I'm like, oh, I'm a Taurus. Now all this stuff's starting to light up around me, you know, find a you know, find a dead animal in my yard and almost had a fit, had caught animal control, all these different things. So it's so many different things that are coming into play to let you know things are going on, things are happening. You know, you don't have to fear. Like, you know, I'm getting right now, it's just a lot of y'all are going through this and, you know, there are so many people that have prayed upon and wanted you to have a downfall. This is it. You know, regardless of what anybody say, you have to stay focused. Don't lose your temper. Don't act a fool with them. You know, people, when they know they can reel you in, you, they can't reel you in. And you got to be that bass, 
you know, fish in there, they'll snatch that daggone line and keep it moving. You know, they, they can't reel you in no matter how much they pray on that downfall. When God says yes to hell with everybody else, they can't sit up here and tell you no because there's a, a door about to open for you that no man can shut. So you keep doing you. Regardless of what's being thrown at you, as soon as I said that, my phone hit lit up. So that's your confirmation. Your blessings are coming. Don't be worried about what everybody else is doing. Keep playing your part. You play that role like you ain't never. Be that Meryl Streep. Be that Jack Nicholson because they done got so many daggone awards. I know it'll make your head spin. So you keep doing the things that you do. You know, people are going to pray upon your downfall. They're going to pray because they see that light in you. They see that strength in you that they pray and wish they had. They actually have it, but they're, they're too busy worrying about your life to be actually trying to clean up theirs. So you keep doing you. Keep being nice. Kill them with kindness. And you you already know you're, you, you're about to get that Emmy. You're about to walk up there and just... Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> you gonna get that daggone award. So whatever you're working towards, keep working towards that. Don't doubt the things that are going on in your life. Don't doubt, Nothing is a coincidence and nothing is an accident. You hear what you're supposed to hear. Things are resonating with you. Things are dropping your lap. You might hear somebody over speak. You might think of something in your head next to you know somebody, you know, somebody will say a certain thing around you and it's gonna catch you off guard like I didn't hear that. It, it, you know, this, this, and this, and that. Or you could be reading a newspaper and something just pops out at you that, you know, that that's going to occur for you. I remember the other day I was, you know, cleaning out my truck and I'd sit up here and see a pamphlet that said, Good news, there's something coming. You know, and it was something like crazy like that. And then the next thing you know, all these different things are coming along in my in my life. That I've been working so hard for, you know, and there was times that I, I was really sad, like, you know, people that I love, people I I respected, like I said, every time I say something, it's like 909 and that mess just popped off like that, but there are so many things that came off in my life and, you know, realizing the people that played that part in my life, the people that I love, people I respected weren't the ones that loved me back. You know, but I I can be okay with that. I, I mean, I can't sit up here. I'm not mad at, you know, the my mom's ex-husband and his wife for playing their part. Don't be mad because they played their part. They played it very well. <laughs> okay, I can't be mad at my ex. He done showed me situations like he showed me himself. You know, I'm not even mad. I mean, I'm grateful for the situations with him as well as my mom's ex-husband and their family. You know, because they allowed me to see the strength in me I wasn't able to see, you know, before my spiritual awakening. I was able to, I'm able to embrace my gifts with flying colors, not give a damn about what people think of it. You know, how would people see me? Will people believe me? I feel like anybody who's on my level would know I'm speaking the truth. You know, so it's a blessing to be able to help people. And when I can be able to see that gift in you that you aren't able to see in yourself, to know that those those hard days, your emotional days, your stressful days, your depression days are almost near closing. So, you, I mean, you take that. And like I told y'all just a few weeks ago, graduation time get your cap and gowns because that's where we're going you know you're heading towards that life you've been working so hard for and it's going to be the least you i mean it, when you least expect it is about to pop off for you so it's just like you keep doing what you're doing you know what part you're playing you know what other people's parts are playing so don't allow what they're you play your role best don't worry about their role don't worry about that role because you already know what they're playing you know everybody's doing their part don't get mad at them you know even if they come at you crazy don't go, get mad at them because they're showing you who they truly are when people show you who they truly are believe that okay but long as you know you're staying true to your authentic self walking down your true path and you're being honest with yourself on all different levels on all different directions that's the only thing that's going to matter to god and the universe so when you start showing that and you're not afraid of what is going down that road because 
you know that something good is coming for you. And even the things that you have prayed upon, that you're working hard for, just because you went through all that hell a thousand times, because, you know, people are like, Rosa, how many times I'm going to go through these spiritual awakenings? How many times I'm going to go through ascension, kundalini, dark night of the soul? As many times as it takes for you to be able to to let go of what's no longer serving you. Get rid of those toxic people that are in your life that's hindering you. Get rid of those toxic memories that you keep going over and over in your head. It's like you, you know, you keep playing that thing. And I, like I had to tell one of my soul sisters, just even using, you know, my situations as examples to help them get through their situation. I said, I can't keep going on exactly what happened here what happened here and this is what happened to me i can basically tell you without really telling you because that's like me reliving that situation all over again to where that pain drops right back on me again and i'm right back in that circle of motion thinking about it all day long so i can you you know i'm like oh you you know i went through a situation like this and it might have took me a long time but when i seen it what i needed to see I was good and that's all you, I, that's all I had to do and that let me know that I was no longer paying attention to that situation that has occurred to me I'm no longer dealing with that situation I'm no longer letting this that situation affect me all I can look at is that you know what this situation has really took me to that point where you know what this was not serving me seeing it for what it truly was in those every situation that you have been in has taught you a valuable lesson whether it was a good situation or a bad situation and that's how you have to really look at it and it's not meant for you to keep torturing yourself over and over by listening to it because I had to really when I got that aha moment today I really got that aha moment and it's not just for right now but it's for everything that is going on in my life why do I keep you know, going through that same process of thinking about those things over and over again. It's not doing anything. It's that hindering me here, keeping me here. When people snap off at me, even by answering simple questions, they're playing their part. You know, when devil sees that, you know, you're preying upon the people that are hurting you and they keep coming at, obviously that's working because they, they're going to keep bringing that hell towards you to make it see, let me see if they're going to, you know they're gonna fall for the bait again you have to just walk away sometimes responding to a fool is no response at all that's how you need to respond to a fool is no response at all <laughs> that's how you need to do it so allow yourself to see the part that you're playing so you can get that award for the best supporting actress actress the best supporting actor because you're going to get through your trial you're going to get through those tribulations that's been placed upon you you're going to see that you know all this is just illusion on the point of you need to plan and get the hell up out of there so you can get your blessings so i hope you were able to resonate with the content in this video i hope y'all being blessed you know i feel like really good things are coming for a lot of people right now you know you just have to keep believing and you know keep working on you so um my post notification shout out is to spirit of the east of journey work and health uh and healthy uh robert cole and buddy pre much love to you and i will see you on my next video like and subscribe give me a thumbs up share hit that bell you know drop me a line so i can go ahead and give you the next post notification shout out and if i said that twice my bad y'all you know uh <laughs> Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know. Your kind words can really take somebody a long way. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.